Looking at the body, I thought, this seems really short. Like, this seems cropped. Tried on, like, half. I had my, like, husband hold one section and stuff. It, it was, it was so short and it was so cropped. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julie and I am the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are January 31st and I just want to say a big warm welcome to all new and returning viewers. Thank you so much for checking out my podcast. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any fun videos. I love chatting about knitting and all things yarn. I upload a video every single Thursday here on my YouTube channel, so definitely make sure you do not forget to subscribe, not to miss out on any fun videos. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter. I also have an incredible Patreon group, which is full of knitters and crocheters. If you are looking for an amazing community of makers, that is the place to be. We have monthly knit-alongs, book clubs, movie nights. We have multiple Zoom meetups during the month so that we can knit and crochet together, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful place to be. And there's some free patterns involved as well. So there's so much happening over there. Um, so if you are looking for a amazing knitting community, come and join the Twin Stitches Designs Patreon group. I will link it below. It's amazing, especially if you don't have a knitting group in your area. This really, you know, we become your knitting group. So it's a lot of fun and I hope to see you over there. It's not a ton to share in terms of progress because I actually had to rip out a few things and re-knit and I'll talk about that a little bit more. But first up is a project that I was actually finished the last time, but I decided to rip out and re-knit the entire collar. I will put a photo of um, myself wearing it here. This is a brand new design that I am use I used uh, Wool Dreamers in their Manchalope, which is these beautiful big plates. They're right here. It's a beautiful big plate of yarn that's 100% wool. It is absolutely incredible to work with. And I decided to rip out the entire collar and re-knit it, having more of a shawl collar which was my original idea, um, and for some odd reason I didn't do it the first time, so I then ripped everything out and re-knit the entire collar. I also wove in all the ends, added the buttons, and it's all done. Absolutely love this. I will be putting out the test knit call um, later this week, early next week for this, and um, I knit this out of, like I said, the Manchalope in the white, and then this is the light gray. I used a US 10 and a half for the body and US uh, 9 for the ribbing. It's hard to show because it's so big, so that's why I'll add the photo. Absolutely love it. It fits perfectly. Um, it's off to my tech editor at the moment, and once I get it back, I will be putting out the test knit call. It's designed in sizes from 30 inch bus all the way to a 60 inch bus, so I will be needing testers of all of those sizes. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. And it will be coming out within the next two months. So get your yarns ready and also um, I will be having a coupon code uh, for on the yarn um, for test knitters who want to use the same yarn. Um, I'll be having a test knitters coupon code for that um, from Montrico who is um, also the stockist of Wool Dreamers for Canada. So they are providing that amazing coupon code um, for the test knitters. So. I'm really excited for this project to be out to you all for the pattern that I can't wait to see all of your incredible versions. It's it's wonderful and the Manchalope is is a yarn that doesn't weigh anything. Like it is light and airy and I love it. So really barely weighs anything and it's just a dream to work with. It's not scratchy whatsoever. It's really nice. Um yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Absolutely adored working with it, so love it. 
So yes, it's the same finished object, but I did design um, the shawl collar, ripped all of that out, did all the math, and um, added the button band and the buttons, and now we are officially done with this. Um, the other project that I was working on that I sadly had to rip back so the next sweater pattern, I don't know what it was, um, but apparently all the sweater patterns that I was knitting on, I must have been tired, uh, I ripped out. So the next pattern is with Laura of Camp Fiber Yarns. I showed this off on the last podcast that I had knit up to about 10 inches. I've since then, I am about 15 inches. I divided the front to the back. I was starting the V. I completed a first front. I was working on the second front. And when I was looking at the body, I thought, this seems really short. Like, this seems cropped. Tried on, like, half. I had my, like, husband hold one section and stuff. It, it, was, it was so short and it was so cropped. So I since then ripped all of that work out, re-picked up all of the stitches, and I'm going to be adding in at least a good three to four inches from where I was because I want this pattern to be perfect. It is going to be so comfortable and I'm really excited, but I want it to be right and perfect the first time because I don't want to be ripping out once I'm done. So for this one, I am using Camp Fiber Yarns in her Vibrant 8020. This is almond milk, and this is on her Surrey, which is pressed flowers. So I'm holding these two double, which creates the most beautiful fabric. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. And I'm using a US 8. And like I said, I knit a good four inches um, from the last time split for the front, did all the work, and then just realized that it was way too short. Had to rip it all out. Again, when you're designing a new pattern or you're designing something, those are the things that you need to get comfortable with is being okay ripping back. And sometimes your ideas, you know, don't really mesh out or work out. So I really wanted to make sure that this pattern was going to be exactly what I envisioned. Um, so I'm really excited for it. I'm knitting these on my Knit Picks Prism Aluminum interchangeable set. Absolutely love these. They're amazing. And I love that each color in the aluminum prism is a different color for the needle sizes. I have this again in my Generos tote bucket, um, whatever that you want to call it. so that it fits all perfectly here. I usually have this next to me on the couch because right now it's still playing stockinette knitting until I get to a certain amount of inches. Um, so it's absolutely perfect for those um, knitting, knitting times that I need. The next project that I have been working on, I have picked up, so I knit up last year the Cupcake Hat Kit. This is a kit that I got from Whitney of Moon Glow. I used, it's on her DK weight base. This one is brown sugar, sponge sugar, and paradise pink. Whitney still has um, and sells these kits. It comes with the pattern and all of the yarn needed. You can purchase the 50 gram set, which has 50 grams of the main colors and will make you one hat, or you can purchase the 100 gram kit, which is what I got, and it will make you two hats because, well, I need to make one of these for each of my girls. I have also a Ravelry project page for this. I have picked it back up and I finished the ribbing and I started the frosting, as they call it, for the pattern. So I'm really excited. Um, this is something that the girls are seeing right now and they want the finished product and I do too. So I'm hoping to finish up this fun little hat this week. I'm really trying to focus on things to be able to finish them, um, picking up some old works in progress, kind of picking up one at a time and trying to finish these off. 
and it really makes me feel better and gets things off my needles that I really like and it's projects that I, I do enjoy. Um, and I know like this finished product is just so stinking cute that I can't. Um, I did the ribbing in US 6 and then I am doing the um, the body in a US 8. I just love this color of brown so much. Uh, so yeah, so that is the yarn that I'm using. And I'm just knitting it from time to time. I don't, like I said, have a strict deadline, but I'd love to finish it this week potentially in between my projects. Right now I have too many works in progress for my liking <laughs> because I keep ripping things out and starting them again. I love only having a few projects on my needles and this is just too much. So that's why I'm really wanting to finish this off. Um, other things, because I don't like having too many projects on my needles. It just stresses me out. And this is the beautiful pink from Whitney for the pom-pom. And I have this in a very, very old bag. This is a Maple Moose Fibers bag that I bought over 10 years ago. She no longer makes bags, but I just love it. The last project I want to share with you is a brand new cast on. I have this in my Daisy Girl Company bag, which is a fun peekaboo bag. And I really, really love that. This yarn uh, was gifted to me by Stephanie of The Creative Knitter. She came out with a fun collection um, and gifted this to me. So this is on her Rustic DK, which is a 85 Superwash Merino 15% Donical Tweed, 230 yards per 100 grams in the colorway Cozy. Here's Stephanie's tag. And I decided to knit up a fun pair of socks. So I'm casting on for a new design. Um, and I just really love this. She definitely knew my color palette when she sent this to me. And I knew immediately it had to be a fun texture cable pair of socks. I'm still trying to figure out the design. Um, I finished the cuff. And then I'm thinking, I think I'm going to rip back. I'm not sure. So I finished the cuff. And I just love this color with the tweed. I am knitting this on my Knit Picks Aluminum interchangeable set. And this is in US 4. Yep, a US 4. Not much work done, but I'm really happy to at least have it cast on. I always feel, let me know if you're like that below, when you cast on a pair of socks or a project, the worst and the most like daunting part is casting on, and then once that is done, it feels like you can just pick it up and work on it. But I always find casting on is one of those things that is just like, I need to get that done over with so I can get to the fun part. But yes. I'm really loving it. Love the yarn. I love the base. It's so squishy, so soft, and I love a good tweed yarn. It is beautiful. So thank you, Stephanie. Um, I am going to be working on that. And I just have that in my bag. Those are all the active projects that I've been working on. I'm coming to you all more regularly so that there's not as much pro... pro there's not as much progress as there normally would have been. Um, I am also working on things in the background that I can't share, um, as always, because those are little secret designs, but I'm really excited to share with you all whenever I can. I received a ton of yarn. Um, I actually uploaded two videos. I know I'm de-stashing and the next de-stash video is going to go live next week, but I did receive some yarn from We Are Knitters as well as Julie Asselin, so those two videos are up on YouTube if you want to go and check those out. Um, Julie Asselin, I purchased over $400 of her mystery box, and for We Are Knitters, I received some yarn support for some fun brand new designs that I cannot wait to cast on in the future, so that is going to be so much fun and I will share that along with 
you all through the podcast. But yes, so <laughs> those episodes are up and I will be doing part two of the D-Stash next week. So next Thursday, I will be uploading that here on YouTube. If you ever have any suggestions on fun things that you would like to see on the YouTube channel, please let me know down below. I am also planning on doing a fun video uh, coming in two weeks, which is going to be how, what to use a sock set for that is not socks. So sometimes we have these fun sock sets that we're not really sure what to do with, um, but this is going to give you some fun ideas. So I'm going to be going through some patterns, linking the patterns and all of that. So if you ever have any suggestions or want to donate to the podcast, please let me know and get in contact with me. All right, friends, I think that's everything for all of the knitting. I also want to mention that starting February 1st, we're, we are going to have in the Patreon group two brand new Dyers of the Month, a brand new book club, as well as a brand new knit along. So if you haven't already, come and join us over there for an amazing, amazing knitting and crochet community. All right, friends, I hope you all have a wonderful and fantastic day. And I hope to see you here next week for part two of the D-Stash video. Bye.